because she's tired of people looking down on her because her mom dared to fall in love. How dare she? Well, hello. Welcome to World of Cups and Nitty Things. If you are new here, hi, I'm Kuti. I make lifestyle, psychological, nitty and crafty slash fashion and design videos. So if you're interested in those type of contents, just subscribe and turn on the notification bell to know when I post. Speaking of nitty, I am going to be doing such an exciting video today as I'm going to be telling you relatable books to read when you feel like escaping. I am such an escapist who also creates words on a regular basis, but yes, I love reading to escape sometimes reality is just too hard so i am an expert at reading dystopian books today i'm going to be recommending such amazing dystopian books that are going to leave you so wild and also make you appreciate the world you live in because that's what i also read dystopian books for the first book i'm going to be talking about is called stellarium by lauren oliver this is the first book in the Delirium series and it takes place in a world where love is illegal. So when you turn 18, you're supposed to go and get the cure, which is supposed to kind of like cut off your feelings and turn you into like a robot of some sort. And then they're going to find a match that you are going to marry, who is supposed to be in sort of like your social class in a way. And then you just continue as citizens. They even get you a job. You don't have a choice on what jobs you get. If you're in a higher social standard, you are more likely to get like a better job. So the book follows the story of Lena Holloway, who's just a normal girl in a dystopian world that's just trying to survive, you know. Lena just wants to live a very predictable life. She wants to be able to turn 18 and get the cure. Mostly because she's tired of people looking down on her because her mom dared to fall in love. How dare she? But yeah, so she does not want to be like her mom. She just wants to prove people wrong because everyone just always says, oh, it's the child of the person who got the disease, you know? Yeah. As her 18th birthday is approaching, she goes to this party with her best friend and she meets a guy. And you know what happens next? I don't have to explain that. You know what? When you tell people not to do something, they do it. Reverse psychology. So this book is amazing. Everything that you expect to happen and more happens in this story. There's a love triangle. Government secrets are revealed. People are running away. It's literally a roller coaster ride, and I think you will love it. So once upon a time, a beautiful queen was cursed by a dark fairy. We are going to be speaking about the book called Savage Beauty by. Casey Alvord, which is my most favorite book ever. Did I attempt to draw the character in the book? Anyway, <laughs> Savage Beauty takes place in the dystopian world and it's also a supernatural fairy tale retelling of Sleeping Beauty. And as you get to read this book, you'll understand that the book leans more towards the Grimm's Brothers version of Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, there was this beautiful queen who could not have children, so she goes to a dark fairy who is very powerful so that he can help her have kids. But instead, he curses her and she somehow falls asleep and she wakes up pregnant with twins. One twin she names Luna, the other twin she names Aura, and then she, she dies. Uh, this story follows Luna's life as the dark twin, the evil twin. Uh, this is an interesting story because these kids as they grow up they realize they're not like normal children and definitely not like normal twins not because they are twins but because they have some sort of supernatural power and they have to be codependent towards each other because for example luna has to slumber during the day and she's awake during the night and this is not a normal sleep situation it's kind of like a sleeping beauty sleep where whatever you do you cannot wake her because they won't wake up they're in a slumber and the entire summer she's also slumbering the entire summer and she's awake throughout winter and the opposite happens to aura awake during the day sleep at night awake during summer sleeps during winter it's amazing right but growing up in the castle being groomed to be queens the twin queens People tend to take liking to Aura because she seems, seems as the 
normal one at least the most normal one she's always doing the day so she gets to interact with people she's very beautiful she has light features she loves flowers and luna is seen as the weird evil one because i mean she has dark features she sleeps during the day and she's awake at night like vampires this story actually kind of like shows how people always stereotype dark things as being evil while light things are viewed as being pure you know and also it does refute all those kinds of stereotypes because aura is the evil one who is on a measuring spree just trying to kill everyone and luring them with her flower and a beautiful voice and a beautiful face and her flowers are poisonous too obviously luna and aura are extremely close i mean they do need each other especially as them being queens because one has to rule while the other one slumbers during a specific season however there is a lot of betrayal that happens that leads luna angry and out for murder while she wants to kill her sister so she will do just about anything literally just about anything to kill her sister right before their 18th birthday and break their bond she's not going to depend on her sister anymore because right now they are connected so she has to do this before her 18th birthday and she will stop at nothing to find a way to kill her sister which is very impossible because her sister is always one step ahead but throughout this plan a guy comes and luna has to choose whether she wants revenge and or love and she also needs to find a way to keep the guy from her sister who is evil who has indeed killed the guy she loved before and she does not want her sister to die again it's an interesting story because you get to learn that there's um, more to a story than one person's point of view because aura's intentions are not always evil i think you will love this book check it out our next book is called my unfair godmother by janet Willis. so this book takes place somewhere in between the normal modern world and the medieval world the story follows Tenzi, who is an extremely angry teenager. Her parents got divorced and she was a daddy's girl. She loved reading and her mom just always was not close to her. She's close to her younger sister. And because of that, she has always felt some sort of resentment towards her father for leaving her mom and leaving her. Even though her father said he would not leave her for a mountain of gold, but he left her for a new family. But her sister is sort of like a prodigy or something, but I forgot the mom had to take care of her and they had to travel somewhere else. So Tenzi has to go live with her father and the new family. And obviously she's angry and rebelling. She meets this weird guy who's like the bad boy in a scooter and everything. And somehow she ends up getting arrested. And then at her lowest after her arrest, her father hates her. Her new family just is falling apart and they want to make her go stay with her grandma. A fairy godmother a fair godmother that appears and asks her for three wishes but then she does not really believe it so she just wishes for robin hood to show up and yes robin hood showed up into the modern world and imagine robin hood into the modern world robin hood <laughs> he steals starts stealing everything and he does not want money he wants gold and he wants you know the things that were traded back in the middle ages you know the story is literally a roller coaster she makes some stupid wishes and some wishes actually lend her and the entire family and the new guys that she kind of likes into the medieval world during the time of the miller's daughter and she basically kind of follows the story as the miller's daughter she gets kidnapped and was put into the castle she meets Rumpelstiltskin she promises her her firstborn son it's so amazing imagine a modern girl in a medieval world it's always glamorized in books how you are in ball gowns and you live in these castles but in real life in the medieval world things are kind of bad you don't have showers you don't have running water and she has to experience that as well as also try to escape back into the real world. It's an amazing book. You should read it. This next book is quite relatable. 
The book is called Project L and it takes place into the future and the first thing that i noticed that makes me believe it well it took place into the far 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 future is that the layers of the atmosphere had thinned and they had holes so they had to create some artificial things that will cover the holes however a virus comes and like always they have to fight it and the government's plan to destroy the virus is to remove the layers of the atmosphere that they had artificially made in order to burn out the virus which means the virus burns with the people so they choose the people who are the healthiest who will continue the human race to go into the shelters with them the bunkers underground to go into the shelters with them while everyone else burns in order for you to qualify to go there, you have to go through some sort of tests and at the end, if you pass the test, you kind of get this injection that they say is to give you a very strong immune system. But as you read through the book, you will understand that it's not about getting a strong immune system, it's about something entirely different. This book follows the story of a teenager called Willow, such a beautiful name by the way, she's 15 years old. And she, her mom, and her little brother just pretty much wants to go into the bunkers and try to survive like everyone else. However, her family is split in half when her younger brother is said to have the virus. So the mom has to stay behind while she goes into the bunker. Families were being split apart and people didn't want to be separated even if they die together. They give you this injection that is supposed to make you resist the atmosphere's heat but obviously it does not do as it says it does something entirely different and if you have the virus they give you this red injection that immediately kills you so that you don't have to suffer but of course it does not do as they say it should willow goes into the bunker with the father they are both devastated they learn that there's some sort of a power struggle situation into the bunkers the poor people doing all the work while the rich people are basically being catered to willow makes some new friends she learns a lot of government secrets like always in dystopian books that happens all the time and it's such an interesting book because willow is a 15 year old girl and she you gets to see her fall in love but you kind of like get to understand where she's coming from with this situation it's not about oh i'm in love and all kinds of stuff i'm an adult now and all kinds of stuff she's still a kid and you know i love this story because it's kind of like it's relatable in so many ways i think you would love this book the most amazing thing to my fellow book readers half of this series is free on google play so yeah, you can read half the series free. I have not finished the entire series. I've only read like, I think three books because I'm broke too. And that is it for today. I'm thinking of starting a new series called Relatable Books where I tell you relatable books based on certain situations. And I hope you love this series. And I also hope you love this video. If you like the video, hit the like button and tell me in the comment section. Also tell me what type of books you would love me to read because hey, I always need book recommendations and yes tell, also tell me if you read some of these books and all kinds of stuff what is your favorite dystopian book what book do you read when you want to escape i want to know all that so thank you guys for watching if you like this video again hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and also like and share it with your friends bye